Staffy Lococo is probably better known as Staph. Now it can cause a wide variety of diseases in uh, humans and other animals. Uh, it is uh, round and can be thought of as a gram-positive bacteria. The Staphylococcus uh, genus uh, comprises of over uh, 40 different uh, species. Now most of them are harmless and they're found in the skin and uh, mucous membranes. However, a few of them can cause some uh, serious damage and that is either caused through uh, toxin production, uh, which can cause uh, food poisoning, and the other way is through uh, penetration, such as uh, bacterial uh, infections. Now when we look at uh, the mode of transmission, uh, human carriers are a major source of the infection. In other words, they uh, act as a reservoir. Uh, most of the time, uh, it is uh, transmitted through uh, direct contact with a person with a wound. Uh, however, uh, sometimes it can be uh, transferred with indirect uh, contact with a person with a wound. Now. Uh, Healthcare uh, personnel who uh, don't wash their hands can uh, also uh, carry the uh, contaminated uh, virus. Uh, it can also be uh, contaminated uh, surfaces, uh, surfaces such as uh, pillowcases or towels, or um, even uh, contaminated medical equipment. Now, when we look at uh, signs and symptoms, uh, there's a very wide range. And uh, why is that? Well, um, if you recall earlier, there's uh, 40 different species of the uh, Staphylococcus uh, genus. So it's the signs and symptoms are going to vary widely based on location and uh, severity. Uh, take for example, there's uh, skin infections. Uh, we could start out with uh, boils, and then there's uh, impetigo, which is uh, a painful rash, uh, most common in young children and infants. Uh, then there's cellulitis, uh, which is actually an infection in uh, deeper layers of skin, um, such as uh, sores or ulcers. Then there's uh, bacteremia, uh, which is probably better known as blood poisoning. Now the problem with this is it can uh, the bacteria can travel to locations uh, deep inside the body and uh, produce infections uh, that might infect internal organs. Uh, the brain, the heart, the lungs, uh, bones, muscles, uh, any surgically implanted devices. Now we also have uh, Staphylococcal uh, scale syndrome, which is uh, mostly affects uh, newborns with uh, fever, rash, blisters, stuff like that. Then there's uh, the uh, toxic shock syndrome which is composed of uh, high fever, uh, nausea, vomiting, uh, rash, confusion, muscle aches, seizures, headache. Then there's uh, septic arthritis, uh, such as uh, joint swelling, severe joint pain, fever, uh, shaking or chills. And uh, as you can see, there's a wide variety of uh, different signs and symptoms, and that's kind of a brief overview of the, the, the wide range there is. And that's essentially because there's over 40 uh, different uh, species of the uh, Staphylococcus genus, so that, and that's why we have such a uh, wide range here. Now, uh, keep in mind that uh, staph bacteria can survive uh, drying, uh, extreme temperatures and uh, that could be on uh, both ends of the spectrum maybe not quite fire but uh, they can definitely survive the uh, heat from fire they can also survive high levels of salt now when we look at uh, the uh, diagnosis or diagnosis uh, Typically, it uh, consists of a, a tissue sample or uh, nasal uh, secretions. And uh, that stuff is collected by a doctor. It's uh, sent to a lab, and then it's uh, stuck in a, a Petri dish uh, where it's nurtured. And uh, over time, they usually within up to 48 hours, they, they figure out if it is or not. Uh, they can also uh, more recently do DNA, DNA tests, or can actually get a quicker turnaround time than uh, the typical lab.
when we look at uh, treatment uh, for staph, um, there's antibiotics such as uh, sulfalosporins, nafcillin, intravenous uh, vancomycin. One thing to keep in mind, though, is uh, that with all the different 40-plus uh, uh, species of uh, staph bacteria, some of that stuff is uh, resistant uh, to different types of antibiotics, and it's kind of on a case-by-case -case basis, and it changes over time. Another method uh, of treatment is uh, wound drainage, uh, draining the wound. And then uh, lastly, uh, there's device removal, and that's kind of tied into the concept we covered earlier, which is called uh, bactermia. And uh, that is essentially an overview of the uh, Staphylococcal uh, bacteria. Uh, thank you for watching.